welcome to Davar Word. It is my pleasure to share with you what I have discovered in my walk so that we can learn and grow together. Someone pointed out to me that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, the first word, Bereshit, may not necessarily be a reference to time, even though almost every Bible translation translates it that way. My friend from across the world suggested that it could be the first reference to Yeshua, explaining that the literal translation of Reshit is a small head. This small head would represent a human being whose headship of humanity is subordinate to the supreme head of the Elohim, the Father. Yeshua as the Reshit creates and unites Hashamayim, the heavens, and Eretz, humanity and creation. Therefore, the creation described is the reconciliation and redemption of creation by the middleman or mediator, one who is both son of God and son of man. So, let us dive in and look at the scriptures. I do believe that there are many ways to interpret scripture and there are many layers to a word. Bereshit could also mean in the head. And yes, Yeshua created the Hashamayim, plural, and the Aretz, meaning the land or earth. Yes, of course, the Son of God, Yeshua, was present right there as creator of the heavens and the earth. John 1 verse 2 He was with God in the beginning. John 1 verse 3 All things were made through Him, and apart from Him, Nothing was made that has come into being. John 1 verse 10 The world was made through him. Romans 11 verse 36 For from him and through him and to him are all things. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 6 One Lord, Yeshua the Messiah, through whom are all things, and we exist through him. Ephesians 1 verse 10 The plan of the fullness of times is to bring all things together in the Messiah, both things in heaven and things on earth, all in Him. Colossians 1 verse 16 For by Him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, the seen and the unseen, whether thrones or angelic powers or rulers or authorities, all was created through him and for him. Hebrews 1 verse 2 He has spoken to us through a son whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he created the universe. Hebrews 11 verse 3 By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen did not come from anything visible. John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through Him, and apart from Him, nothing was made that has come into being. So having researched all these, I am in complete agreement that Genesis 1 verse 1 Bereshit is the first reference to Yeshua, literally Bereshit, in the head. Thank you so much for your question and I have learned something from you too. I pray that this sharing inspires and challenges all of us. God bless you and your family. Shalom. Shalom.